Alrighty, so we have our green circuits going. Now we need our red circuits so that we can uh, make our blue science. Um, and uh, what we're going to do for that. Oh, we got some. What, what did I do in the meantime? Um, I went up and I put up uh, some radar up along here. Uh, and some radar over in here and again even with that radar looking further I mean this is nine mil but looking further I'm just not seeing iron guys this is starting to worry me I mean we're doing all right but you know we got 7.9 here we got 3.7 here we got nine up here um, we got one here we got a little tiny bit here, which we may hit this up pretty soon and get it out of our way. Um, just get it going. But, guys, we're not. I'm not seeing iron, man. I'm getting a little worried. I'm getting a little concerned. I mean, I, I expected to have to train stuff in, but... Yeah, we'll see. Alright, anyway. Back to what we were doing. So, we need red circuits. And red circuits require plastic, copper cable, and green circuits, right? So pretty simple. We got to bring uh, three things in. We got to bring copper in and turn it into copper cable. We got to bring the green in and we got to bring the plastic in. Now, red circuits aren't as in demand yet as uh, green circuits are going to be because we need green circuits and red circuits for stuff but just you know what I mean we need double the green circuits that we do the red circuits so we need about half as many um, so look here's what we ended up with uh, we got concrete we got um, those quality modules which we're going to play with not right now, but we're going to play around with them uh, and, and check them out and see what they do. And we've got rocket launchers, rockets, defender capsules, uh, night vision, and energy shields. Um, all of which are going to come in handy when we start going out and messing with the biters. Um, including flame flower, flame thrower uh, and flame thrower fuel should be around here somewhere maybe it's not on here because we don't create it uh, in hand it's created in a factory but I'm not seeing it hmm I was looking to see what it takes I think it's just like iron and uh, oil if memory serves me right I don't see it. I'm maybe I'm blind. Anyway, let's get back to the red circuits, right? So we want red circuits. Um, and like up here where we're doing two rows. Now, like I say, we can expand this out quite a bit. Um, I want to be able to do kind of the same thing with our red circuits. I want to be able to expand them out. So. Um, you know, we can stack them on out. All right. So red circuits. They need two bars, two, two, two bars, two greens, and four cables per. So... Do we do dooby dooby do similar to what we're doing here where we double up two to one two to one or three to one and will that give us room to bring the other two things in? All right, let's see something here. If we do two copper, 
Well, it doesn't really... I guess we could do this. Right? And then... That. So that would give us copper cable and red circuits. So then we need greens and uh, greens and plastic. And I think we need the same amount of the two and two and four. And then we want to come out, right? So if we bring copper in, because it's two onto that. What if we did this? So, so that would give us copper into there, right? Which would give us copper cable. And then we could do plastic on one, green circuits on one. We could even theoretically... do that but that would only give us on one side of the belt that's why I was thinking we do there but that being said that gives us a place to put a pole right because we could put a pole and that powers all of that And then we could do the same thing on the other side. Right, so that would give us our copper. Our green, our plastic, and our circuits out. And then, we do a pole and a pole and a pole, and a pole, right? Then we could, in theory, just right there, and then that would stack. And we boom, 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 right on out, right? Right. Okay, I like that. So, let us, where is it? There it is. Let us do our first one. Here.
Now, one thing I didn't look at, I guess I should really look at it. All right, this is two copper cables every half a second. This is um, one circuit every six seconds. So we really don't need fast inserters here. We just need regular inserters. And do we really need... We need four cables. Four cables every six seconds, right? And we're getting... So you know what? Let's dump this. Let's dump this and change it a little bit and see what that gets us. Rather than two coppers per red, let's do two red per copper. Well, we could actually we can do this. That would still keep the copper on the outside. So we do a copper cable, to two reds. The problem with that is we can't bring that in the way we want it to. And we can't reach far enough to do it. Well, we could do this, maybe, say, do this here, and this here, right? to be red. Alright, so then we've got plastic, green, copper. Right? And then if we bring the copper in like so. And into there, copper, right? Could we because this is going to do two every half a second, this is going to do every six seconds. So every six seconds, we're going to need two, four, six, eight, right? And this is for every six seconds is going to do, every one second, it's going to do four. So four is eight is 12 for six seconds, right? Because it's double, yeah. So that would be 12 for six seconds. These need eight for six seconds. That should 
allow us to make as much copper as we need to fill all of these. And then... We could bring out there, out there, right? Because it needs to be on that one. So that puts it on that one, that puts it on that one. That puts it on that one. That puts it on that one. Now that ties up a whole belt of each. We need two and two to the four there. Maybe rather than that. Cause I'm sure the I'm sure the singles will keep up with the, I mean if it's every six seconds, a single will keep up with getting four items in there. And then we could Right? Now this doesn't need to be... We can do that. Just to keep them straight. Because really the only one that needs to be... Uh, spaced is the one where the inserter is. And then we just have to power it. And if we did there and there, right? All right, so let's look at this. If we get green coming in on one side, we get uh, plastic coming in on the other side. And then we get copper coming in here. And then coming out, we get red and red. That should give us enough to feed all of this. That gives us the power that we need. Right? And it's, and it's not as wide. So there's a bonus too. So, we're not going to get rid of that other blueprint right now. We're just going to create a second blueprint. I'm going to stick this in here. And we're going to see if it works first. Because if it works... Then we're in business. And I'm pretty sure, ignoring the 
the thing on the end. I'm pretty sure that will allow us to tile that. Alright, so if one side of it works, both sides of it work. Theoretically, right? So, if we brought in green and plastic and copper copper um, we'll have to move it down one I guess for right now we'll make it easy and we'll do this um, but we're going to have to move it down one So there's plastic, there's green. Like I said, we'll have to move it down one to actually make it fit. Um, which is just as well, because we got to make it fit here too. This will work for now just to get us going, and then when we move it, will make it fit properly right so that's going to give us our green our plastic and our copper let's see if this works Where's it going? Oh, there's one, two. Yep, all right, so that works. So let's shut this off. Snag this all back up. Fix the mess we made. Sometimes in my brain, uh, Space conservation conflicts with the fact that we've got umpteen billion miles of, con of, of space. And I try to push things in real close when at the same time I know I don't need to. That's So this is the one. So if we... If we come down here and give ourselves space then that should allow us to fit that in right right so now let's build this
that everything? That is everything. And then we can do a blueprint. That is just those parts. Right? Is that everything? That looks like everything. All right, so then, green. Plastic. Copper. Plastic. Is that everything that's supposed to go in there? I think that is everything that's supposed to go in there. And then this comes out. Will that reach? It'll just reach. That should give us our red. Let's see. It looks like everything is moving. There it is, coming out. And it looks like what ends up happening is everything else is waiting on the reds to make red. So red is not waiting on anything. It's just uh, holding things up. So we can expand that out when the time comes. Now, again, we're not going to do that here because we're not. this is not our main... Uh, bus or our main, you know, fact, excuse me, factory area. 
Um, we're going to drag that down a little bit, though. Because we're going to want access to it. So that we can do our blue science. But there it is. I think we got it working. I think that looks like it's it's doing... Oh, that was the other thing I did. I'm, I moved the ammo production down further, so we had room. Um, so, I went through and I picked, because we're out of things that we can research until we have the blue science. So I went through and picked what I want for the blue science. Um, we want lasers so that we can get laser turrets. We want advanced oil processing so we can start setting up our advanced oil processing. We want lube so we can get motors, so we can get robotic frames, so we can get construction robots. Because I'm tired of putting stuff down by hand. Um, after that, we're going to look at uh, probably logistic robots um, so that we can start doing the other part of it. Uh, automate it. We can start building stuff automated. We can make a big processing thing that makes all the things that we want. Um, which is the whole goal of this, right? So... This is all just nice to get us going. All right, so there's that. So now let us look at what we need for chemical science packs, for blue science packs. We need engines. We got red circuits. We just started making them. Engines need uh, gears, steel, and pipe. We got all that. Sulfur is made in a chemical plant and it just needs water and petroleum gas and we brought our petroleum gas over it's somewhere around here there it is right so we'll be able to bring that over the only thing we don't have i think is water and we've got water right here that we can just pipe it down and bring it over here so we're going to make our blue science over here near our labs so that we can put it on this other side of this to feed the labs. So I think since we, if we put it up higher, then we gotta bring circuits all the way up here. If we put it here, then it's a reasonable distance between the two. We'll try and put it right here, I think is what we're gonna do. Okay? That's, that's, that's my thinking. So, for blue science, we need sulfur, red circuits, and uh, and engines. So we're making engines, but we're making a small amount of them. We want, you know, at least five or six, if not more. Blue science. How, how long does it take to make blue science? It takes 76 seconds to make a blue science. That's a long time. That's, what, a minute and 15 seconds or something like that? In comparison to 10 seconds and 6 seconds and 5 seconds. So this is a long time. So we want at least double what we're making for these. Just to make up for how long it's going to take. So if we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's do 12. Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's what we got to work with. Right, and out of that, we're going to get blue science. Now, somewhere in the middle here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We 
do that. Puts it on both sides. That's where, this is where I was talking about that mod, and I, and I didn't look it up because I just started this after doing the other one. Um, allows you to put it on both sides would be really nice. You wouldn't need to do this. You can have every other one do it on the opposite side. But anyway, there it is. That's going to be half and half to go up there, right? So now we need three things coming in here. We need sulfur, red circuits, and engines. And... We need three red circuits, two engines. Well, we know we can get up to two lines on a side, unless we space them and lace inside. And we know we can get two items on a lane, and we know these are slow as, as molasses. So, this line is going to keep up with, with these. No, is it, even if it's just one-sided, it's going to keep up. Now, chem plants. Where's my chem plant? Okay, I don't have any chem plants on me. Now I have a chem plant. So, to make sulfur... It is 30 petroleum, 30 water. How long does it take? And it's one second crafting. So we really only need one for all of these, right? Because if it only takes a second to craft it, we only need one for all of these. Um, how long does it take to make a motor? 12 seconds to make a motor, and we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. So let me grab my calculator here. 12 times 12 is 144. That's a, that's a gross. Okay, 144 total, and we have 76 seconds to do it. So... 144, and we got to do it in 76 seconds, give or take. That means we need to make two a second, right? And these produce at 12 seconds. So if we did... 10 of them were producing one every 1.2 seconds. And we need one every two seconds. So if we do 10 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I and I just I picked ten because the math was easy. Um, so if we do 10 of those, that's going to give us enough engines for all of those. The problem is, these first ones need, need them, as well as everything else. So we need to make sure we're ahead of these or or the other option is we build them and we belt them in this direction but if we belt them in this direction then we got to run the other thing that's going on that same belt the other way um which would be okay which would be okay. So if we did this, if we belted one in this direction, okay, maybe we do it on the other one. 
Maybe we do it on the other one. This one, this one goes in this direction. All right, this one goes in this direction. And I have a reason for that in a minute. We go this one this way, okay? And then, just for gits and shiggles, we offset it by one. Because we've got 12 of these and 10 of these. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? No, we still need to be, we got to be up here. We have to be. No, no, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We just come out one more. This is going to look stupid, but 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 it's going to work. Honest, it'll work. All right. Now, maybe this isn't the most efficient way. But there you go. Right, and then, and then that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We, can, we want some room to work with. Because we're going to do something here. Alright. So, if that gives us our engines. And that's going to be on the far side of this closed belt. Right? So the far side, far side of the close belt, and then we do, this, and it doesn't matter which direction this is oriented, because we only need this side. Um, so. So that's going to be on that side. That's going to be on that side. Right? So if this is making sulfur... That sulfur is going to go on this side, which is going to be on, on, the, on the far side on the inner belt. These are going to be on the far side on the outer belt, which puts them on the, on the close side on the inner belt. So there are our engines. And then, and then these can pluck from wherever on those. We can move this up. A couple more so that it actually loops past that. All right, and then that there, that there, loop goes around there right and then just to be sure we could do that just to be sure that it's going to keep up if we want it to so then that's on the outside comes to there that goes to here comes to there 
So that is our engines and our sulfur. And since this is piped in, it doesn't matter. And then this is our red circuits. Right? So then we just need to take off of, off of this belt and off of that belt. So we need one of each, one long-handed for each one. And again, because these are 76 seconds a piece, those long-handed are going to have plenty of time to get the next ones in there. And then we do a short-handed for the red belt. And if we really want it to, oh wait, yeah. Okay, so there's that. If we really want it to, we could do that for the red and just keep it on one side so that we're not wasting a ton of red. So we can do that over there for that matter. We can make it a one-sided belt over there and just bring one side over. All right, so there's that. Now we need gears and pipes for the engines and steel for the engines correct so we need steel for the engines one one and two All right, but how, but the question is how fast does it produce? So gears, pipes, gears, pipes. That produces a pipe every half second. That produces a gear every half second. These need a gear and a pipe and two pipes every 12 seconds. Need a pipe every 12 seconds, a gear every second. Or two pipes every every 12 seconds, one gear every 12 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to need eleven gears and two pipes every 12 seconds so 12 every 12 seconds we're going to need two so we got to be producing six every second And we're going to produce one, two every second. So we're not going to be making enough. Right? We're going to produce one every, one every half a second. So that's two a second. And each of these needs... Two every 12 seconds so we we're making okay if we're making two every two every second and we need 12 one or two every 12 seconds we've got 12 seconds to make all of them Oh man, my, my brain's not mathing right this second. All right. So we've got 12 seconds to make 24. Right? I think... I think one of these is going to be enough. We might put two in, but I think one is going to be enough. One of each. 
I know I'm struggling right now with the math, but the, I, for some reason I just, without, and I don't have a, a sheet with me that I can I can draw it out on, um, and I'm not going to go and sit down with pen and paper. We're just not going to do it. Not right now. Um, so this and this, right, would give me... Gear pipe, right? And then I need iron or steel plate. Right, so steel plate, gear and pipe. And we really only need, again, one side of this to be steel. We don't need to fill it all up. And then and these are two apiece. So let us do that. So that's iron plate that has to come in there. So if this is our inputs, we need Iron plate, steel, red circuits, and then we need uh, water and petroleum gas. All right, so red circuits. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're good. We're just at about an hour. Which works out like wunderbar. I'm going to give us the whole four spaces this time. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to put this on one side only. Right? Because I don't think we need two sides for this. And then this one I said was steel. And it's the same thing. I don't I don't think we need two sides to it. And we can either two side it there. Or two sided over here. And if we two sided over here, then we don't have that second side filled all the way over. So again, we're going to do the whole four to give us room.
All right, well, I missed it by one, but that's okay. And then iron, we're going to want the whole thing because we're making plates and gears. Or pipes and gears. So we're going to want the whole belt. Oops, we didn't intend to do that right off. I want to make sure I got it all hooked up first. Also got to put in all the inserters still. Um, So we'll stop that one there. All right. Now we need agua and gas. Now, agua, we need a underground or a, or a shore pump underground. We need a shore pump. And we do need undergrounds because we need the undergrounds for this. And I think we can sneak that right through there. Up. Oh. This is this is that new thing. See, we've gone. We're 263 meters. That's too far for for the. Um, for the program or for, for fluids. So, let's go over here and get a pump. So now we have a pump. And I like that it pops up and tells you. Before, you used to have to go, I think that's far enough, and guess at it. Now, it's just telling you, hey, you're stupid. You can't go any further. And I really like that fact. Now, did we screw up? Can we get this in here? We can. Which side is it? Well, it doesn't matter because we can switch it. Right now it's that side. And, oh wait, can we not switch? Oh, V for vertical with this. Yeah, we can switch it, so we're good. It doesn't matter. All right, so there's going to be our gas. Now, water, we're going to bring straight down and over. See, and water is blue. I was right. Water is blue. Now, 
let's put in oh what the heck let's be generous I screwed up anyway no I didn't that's still two per dummy all right so there's that there's that um, what can we fit where? That covers all of them? That covers all of them. I think that's everybody and then that should reach should that reach that'll reach all right so everybody's powered all right that's going to make our sulfur Gonna make our pipes and our gears. Oops. Oops. Can't make it if you can't get to it. All right, and I'm going to let this fill up um, because I want to see if it'll keep up. So we did do right. It is on the right sides. So we weren't completely stupid. And while we're waiting... Let us bring our blue science in. Almost to the point where we've got enough engines. All right, so now that one will fill up.
And I basically just want to get an idea of are we producing enough or do we need to add uh, another gear and pipe down here? And it looks like we might. But I don't know because this isn't saturated yet. I don't think we'll need to add another uh, chemical plant, but we might need to add another gear and another pipe. Because for whatever reason, my brain just wasn't functioning. And if I do, I can put them down here and belt them up across this and, and we can make it fit. So after this, the next thing we're going to work on is making batteries. We're going to get our battery station set up so that when the time comes to start making lasers, we'll already have a supply of batteries. Um, we'll put them in a chest and then we'll, we'll set up our laser production. We'll have that pull out of the chest so that we're not waiting on batteries to be made. And since we have petroleum gas over here now, making the acid and making the batteries won't be all that hard because it's just um, a matter of taking an iron plate and a piece of copper and sulfuric acid, and that's what makes a battery. Um, and then to make sulfuric acid, you take sulfur, water, and an iron plate, and that makes sulfuric acid somehow all right it looks like we're just about filled up so then that'll start getting us lasers now it's not going to get us enough that we're going to populate everything but it can go, start get us a stockpile that we can go up and wipe those biters out and finish claiming this territory so we don't have to worry about this pollution. Although the pollution is now down some, it looks like, from what it was. But we can, we can certainly clear out, close this off, clear out these three bases here. Um, and then we can reinforce this with lasers so that we can start opening up this crude oil. Let me look and see how we're doing, speaking of crude oil. How are we doing on our uh, production over here? All right, we've got plenty in the tanks and plenty in the tanks. So even though we're using it, we're keeping up. We've caught all the way up. I did go down here. The other thing that I did do is I went down here and we grabbed these three. So between grabbing these three and the ones that are up here, um, I think we've got enough for right now. Our biggest problem, again, is in my opinion, our iron supply, copper and stone um, and coal aren't quite so bad. We've got plenty of deposits of those. Um, it's just that iron that worries me, especially since everything takes iron pretty much. Now this might be a waste of doing by doing it this way because of the fact that 
There's so many of them on this belt. But bottom line is they'll get used. Um, and this was just an easier way to do it rather than trying to offset it and make the production prior. This kind of keeps it compact in my opinion. Um, we can get rid of that belt. All right, good enough. I think this will give us an idea of whether this is keeping up or not. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let's start seeing if we're making blue science. Because this is all for naught if we're not making blue science. Okay, well, it's going, which means we're making. And we won't know if this is keeping this saturated until it's all the way up here and they're all going. There's our first. So I'm not seeing a lot of movement here in in where the engines are. I'm seeing a little bit. So I think we're keeping up. We may need to add one more engine production, but I don't know. But there we go. Blue Science has started. Uh, and we're on our way. All right, guys. Let's see. Yep, we're, we're working on lasers. So next episode, we're going to start making sulfuric acid, and we're going to start making batteries. Um, and then we will go from there. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.